Hey, what's up, citizens of Michigan Oblast? I just want to give a quick rundown on my new Flick setup because, um, I don't know, it's just something interesting I just built and I want to talk about it. So I don't think many people are looking at the Flick as a viable option for anything right now, which is understandable because every time you see photos of it, it looks like shit. It's floppy. Um, it's not mollied properly. It's just sagging and not adjusted correctly. But if you adjust it correctly, it can be. A very comfortable rig to wear. If you're familiar with the British Ops Vest or Assault Vest type systems, this feels a lot like that. Um, you know, it's got the mesh. It's very breathable. Um, difference, oh god, just docks myself. The difference would be it's got an open back, which is nice. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go over kind of the pouch setup and why I bought this. So basically, I got six mags. I got um, yeah, just double stacked six mags right here. Uh, moving over here, I'm using this IFAC pouch as actually an admin pouch. So this is where I'm going to have right in the reins um, and stuff like that, you know, maps and whatnot. Moving over, I got a ACOG pouch, and that's where I have my range finder. So I can have quick access to that, and it's padded and protected. Now Jean bottle um, pouch, now Jean bottle pouch. These are really nice. Um, I get I can get good access to these. It's not super hard or out of the way to get to, and they do go in fairly easy considering the you know admittedly awkward height that they're put at. Um, that's kind of always been the thing with chest rigs and, and higher up mounted systems is you're kind of like everything's up here. This is like pseudo in between a chest rig and a belt. It's kind of it keeps things in a weird area that is in between both of those, like both in between a chest rig and a belt, in my opinion. No, that's how I feel about it. Uh, moving on, I got a uh, Gerber fixed blade knife right here. Um, they're cheap, they're effective, they work good, they're sharp as hell, and you can resharpen them very easily in the field. Um, got some shears here, blah, blah. I don't have IFAC on here. I, I usually like to have IFAC in like my cargo pockets or whatever, but however, I think I will, I will put some type of medical equipment probably in these uh, internal pockets potentially, like a, you know, plastic uh, bag just with like, yeah, kind of the more serious stuff. And then, uh, I don't know, I'm still playing with it, but it has these internal pockets. To be honest, they'll probably just be filled with cliff bars and like snacks. Um, yeah. And then moving to the back, I guess, I got this uh, Bilby pack. Um, I don't know what the name of this pouch is, but I'm kind of using it as like a, a kidney pack slash uh, butt sack or, or a butt pack <laughs> Butt sack. That's where the poop stored in the butt sack um, No, but yeah, so I'm using this as just like, you know, a way to carry a little bit more extra gear <clears throat> um, And yeah, so I'm pretty happy with this setup. It's very cost-effective and If you're worried about like the comfort of these things as long as you just adjust these straps correctly and you adjust the the back waist belt part uh, to size correctly to your body. It's actually a pretty comfortable rig and I'm actually enjoying it a lot. <sighs> you can run it in a lot of different configurations as well. You know, um, you can have it, you can split the front open and run it with just this buckle, um, which isn't as effective as a zipper, but if you're just chilling out, I mean, you can have it set up like this and it's a little more comfortable. Um, Cause when you, when it's zipped up, it can be kind of tight, I guess. I mean, it's not tight, but anyway, you can run it like this is all I'm trying to say. You can kind of be chilling out. And the reason I like this setup over a belt kit is because you can, I feel like you you could probably, you could sleep more comfortably in this, I would say, if you were on your back. Even though I have this kidney thing, you could still, you could still get away with sleeping with this, I feel like, a little bit easier than a belt kit. You could ride in a vehicle oh, probably a lot more comfortably than a belt kit, I'd imagine. I'm just speculating, but... Take that, take that for what it is. Um, <clears throat> and then as far as its advantages over a chest rig, I would say that your pouches kind of sit at a, a little bit lower. So, and, and, and you know, because if this was a chest rig and these water bottle pouches were, they'd be up more here and you'd kind of be like this. Or I, I kind of have that experience when I have chest rigs on. Um, I'm not a super like wide person, so my chest rigs tend to wrap around further underneath my arms and but this is a good middle ground for me. I'm not saying this is better or worse, or, or not saying this is better than a chest rig or a belt kit. Those are all, those are both great systems. But I just wanted to try this out because I saw an opportunity for some certain advantages with this. 
Um, if you're looking for something, you don't have like, if you're looking for like a practical type setup, I would say give these things a look. They're super cheap right now. They come in Woodland, DCU, ACU, or UCP, um, and the Marine Corps Coyote, which is what I went with because the Marine Corps pouches are pretty rock solid. I like they have all the retained female buckles on like everything. Super nice. <clears throat> um, and yeah, it, you know, Coyote's a good color. It's, it's pretty practical for a lot of different places. And you can always like kind of in the field do it up and make it look good. Um, you can make it more suitable for your environment, you know, to a certain extent. Um, but yeah, so that's just a quick rundown on my setup. I got an got a ultralight um, cup in this Nalgene as well with a can opener at the bottom. So, but yeah, so I haven't really used this thing. I will say maybe I'll feel different about it if, if, as I start running around and shooting in it and, you know, hiking and, and doing all that stuff in it, getting out in the woods with it. But I think it's a good option, honestly. I wouldn't be afraid to get it if you set it up properly and you take the time to molly everything on and adjust everything. I, this is probably like the fifth way I've set it up so far. And I think I finally got it fine tuned to where it's, it feels comfortable. It feels tight. It's not, it's not like floppy or anything. It's, it's on my body, nice and sturdy. I yeah, just thought I'd share that with you guys. These are good options. They're super cheap. They're super plentiful. And yeah, rock and roll guys. See you later.